If you've been to New York, perhaps you've heard of Xi'an Famous Foods. This restaurant is legendary for its cumin lamb noodles. This recipe endeavours to replicate the bold, complex, addictive taste of the chilli oil, coating tender chunks of lamb. My version of cumin lamb noodles takes an easier approach to recreating this heavenly and boldly flavoured dish that tastes just as great. Here's the ingredients list. I'll put a copy of these down in the comments below so you can copy. I'm using fresh noodles from my local Chinese supermarket, but if you want to make the traditional hand-pulled noodles, they're easy to make but they do take some time and I don't have that today. If you want to try making them, why not watch these couple of YouTube tutorials from the YouTubers I quite like. This will put you on the right track. Let's get the little bit of prep done. First we can toast our hard spices. Add the cumin, Sichuan peppercorns and coriander to a dry pan and heat over medium low heat. Stir and toss frequently, toast until the spices are fragrant and beginning to pop. It'll take around about 5 minutes. Take the spices off the heat and grind until partially powdered. You can use a mortar or pestle, but to be honest a spice grinder or coffee grinder is a lot easier or by crushing the spices with the bottom of a heavy pan. Trim the lamb, taking off any hard or tough tissue or sinew, and then slice it thinly across the grain. Combine the lamb, Shaoxing wine, salt, oil, and two teaspoons of the ground spices, and mix. Add the cornstarch, and mix by hand until the lamb is fully coated. Marinate for at least 15 minutes. Making the chilli sauce is easy. Just combine the chilli oil, the vinegar, the wine and the two soy sauces together in a bowl. Add the oil to a large skillet or wok and heat over high heat until the oil becomes really hot. Add the marinated lamb and spread it into a single layer. Separate the individual slices with minimal overlapping using a pair of tongs or chopsticks. Add the garlic and ginger on top and leave the lamb to sear for 30 seconds or so until the bottom is browned. Once the lamb is browned on one side, stir occasionally until the lamb is mostly browned on both sides and the aromatics begin to turn golden. It's okay if the inside of the lamb is just a little bit pink. Add the red onions and the green chilies and stir fry for 20 seconds or so. You can now add the rest of the spice mix and toss and coat everything with the spices. Pour in the sauce and scrape the bottom of the pan to lift any caramelization. Stir fry for another 30 seconds. Turn the heat off and add the coriander leaf, stirring to incorporate. You can transfer everything onto a big plate so the lamb stops cooking. Now let's cook those noodles in the boiling water. Follow the packet instructions obviously, mine's fresh so it's literally two minutes. Add the noodles into the saucy lamb, give them a good toss and divide into four bowls. And feel free to add some extra drizzles of chilli oil over the top. 
And a little tip if you have leftover lamb, it goes great warmed up in a banh mi or sandwich. Well that's a truly spectacular dish, I hope you try it. If you liked that video, why not hit that like button for no other reason other than why not? And whilst you're at it, why not subscribe? Who knows what I'm cooking next? I only have a vague idea and it's epic. So I'll see you then. Bye.